Dreary Road by J. Wesley Price A dreary road with clouds yet glowing, no creatures howling nor wind blowing, conducts a man whose strength is spent, yet of his path he won't relent. For just around the bend, he hears, lie treasures sought for many years. Though earlier on his way, he'd thought that all his hopes had come to naught. For while he sought time after time to find a reason or a rhyme, of finding such he quite despaired, because he thus so far had fared, that when he stumbled o'er a stone, he lost the light that brightly shone, that of a future time foretold, of rooting forests from of old, long since that lost their former glory, longing to resolve the story of this distant time foretelling, time for planting, not for felling. But of this tale he now knew little, and all the land looked dry and brittle. Yet wearily he onward trod, through thistle thorn and dusty clod, for surely, as it seemed to him, though all around looked pale and grim, for such a path to have been laid, round rugged hills and barren glade, it really ought somewhere to lead, or else it all was vain indeed. But as the path drew on and on, he found this hope had nearly gone, and journey's end might show, he feared, less cause for hope than once appeared. However, he had heard it said that words of hope could be our bread, and this he'd have to eat in place of crumbs that left now not a trace. And now for drizzling drops he begs, with cup drained low to dry as to dregs. But finding none, he treads along, without a whisper nor a song, except so faintly to recall a faithful voice both still and small. For furthermore, he'd heard it say that at the dawning of the day is rest from all this endless strife, the very truth and way of life. So he, with nowhere else to turn, this endless way resolves to learn, and at the final end will lie the answer to his spirit's cry.